And then this is the answer. The answer is that what she said. So this is very appropriate. Hey everyone, my name is Benelin. And in today's video, we're going to have a look at the most important part of the long chain library, the chains. The chains allow you to combine multiple large language models and other tools in order to create much more complex applications. In our case, we're going to have a look at some of the chains that the Langchain library provides, such as the most simple one, LLM chain, then the sequential chain, which allows you to execute multiple large language models or chains within a sequence. Then we're going to have a look at the summarization chain, the question and answer chain, and finally, the bus chain. Let's get started. There is a complete text tutorial on ML Expert that requires a subscription to ML Expert Pro. And within this tutorial, you can get the complete source code along with explanations on what is happening with the different types of chains that we're going to have a look at. Know that this is a part of the bigger prompt engineering guide or tutorial on how to use prompt engineering along with Langchain. So if you want to have a look, please consider subscribing to ML Expert Pro to support my work. Thank you. I have a Google Co-op notebook that is already running, and these are the dependencies that we're going to need. The most important one is going to be the Langchain library itself, then the OpenAI library that allows us to make the requests, and then the Tick Token library, which is going to count the number of tokens for us. Then this is the imports that we're going to use. And then I'm adding this function print response, which is going to essentially wrap the responses of the models. And then I am also entering your API key. When you execute this, you will be required to enter your OpenAI API key. And this will create an environment variable called OpenAI underscore API underscore key, which the models and the Langchain library is going to use by default. Next, we are creating this chat OpenAI model. And here I'm specifying that I want GPT 3.5 Turbo, which is essentially chat GPT. And then I want a temperature of zero, which is going to essentially try to reduce the randomness as much as possible. So when you execute this, you get the instance of the model. And the first and probably the most basic chain that we are going to have a look at is going to be the LLM chain. As you can see, this is pretty basic. You have to essentially create an instance of it, pass in the LLM, which in our case is going to be ChatGPT, and then you have to pass in a prompt. And in this example, I'm using a template prompt. So here is the template for the prompt, and then we have an input variable, which is going to be team suggestion, and then the template itself. Let's look at the template. You have to come up with location to shoot along with uh, some short description for a new episode of the TV show, The Office, based on the team, and then the team suggestion, and then answer. So this is the format of the prompt that we are going to use. And I'm going to pass everything here to the chain. And you can execute this chain by just pass passing in the team suggestion as a parameter without specifying the team suggestion itself. It's going to figure out for you that this is the variable that you want to put in. So if we execute this, this is going to make the call to chat GPT. And you can see that the team suggestion has been filled correctly. So visiting Europe, and then the text itself, I'm going to print it using the print response. So this is the response that the chain is giving you using chat GPT. So location, Amsterdam, Netherlands. And you can see that it is somewhat formatting the response for us. And then the description, since we are asking for a location and description, the Dunder Mifon team heads to Amsterdam for business conference, but things quickly spiral out of control when Michael and Dwight accidentally eat space cakes and eat up and end up lost in the city's infamous red white district. Meanwhile, Jim and Pam explore the city's beautiful canals and historic landmarks, but struggle to find common ground with their new European colleagues. Okay, so this is the response. You can see that the prompt has been basically incorporated into the response along with the input that is visiting Europe. The next probably much more powerful way to use chains is to essentially sequence them or create uh, steps that the models are going to use for you. So in this case, we already have this location chain, and then I'm going to create another one. And then we are going to concatenate or 
execute them one after the other. So this is done using this sequential chain, simple sequential chain in this case. Let's continue with the conversation chain. It is pretty much the same thing that is happening right here. So I along I have a template, a prompt, and then another LLM chain. I'm passing in the same model. Let's look at the template itself. Generate a short dialogue between Jim and Pam from the TV show The Office for a new episode based on the location. And this is the location, and this is the answer. So we are inputting a location and then the template itself, and we're going to run through this, create this chain. And now here is essentially where the magic happens. The simple sequential chain is going to get a list of chains, and the first one is going to be the location chain, pretty cool, and then the conversation chain. Uh, we are passing in a verbose equal to true. So what will this do is to essentially give us all of the output that chain is going through. And this is the sequence. And then we are running the sequence with visiting Europe. So let's execute this. So during during the verbose, due to the verbose flag, we are entering a new simple, simple sequential chain. And then this is the first response, which is pretty much this thing right here. And then here is the conversation. Let's look at the response. So this is the conversation that we're getting. So what happened here? First, the location chain was executed and the suggestion of the location was Amsterdam, Netherlands. And then this location was inputted into this template in order to create a conversation between Jim and Pam. So essentially you are providing step-by-step -step instructions that what the LLM is going to do. And let's see, uh, let's look at the conversation and see if we, it is actually about Amsterdam. So Jim is talking, whoa, Amsterdam is beautiful. I can't believe we're here for a conference. I know, right? I can't wait to explore the canals and see the, all the historical landmarks. So you can see that the actual conversation is really about Amsterdam and they are talking about the canals and all historical landmarks. And if we recall here, there are meanwhile Jim and Pam explore the city beautiful canals and historic landmarks. So it is also taking the, into consideration the description that is given from the first chain. So it understands the response from the first chain and then incorporates the context of the first chain in order to run the second chain and create this conversation for us. All right, so that's pretty powerful stuff. Next, we are going to have a look at the conversation chain. So we have this conversation right here and we want to create a summary of it. So the template is pretty basic. Write a concise bullet list summary of the conversation between Jim and Pam from the TV show The Office. Concise summary using markdown. So I want to output to be a markdown. And this is what you need to do. Essentially, you need to what summarize chain. You're going to call this from lang chain. Then you're going to pass in the model. In, the, in our case, we're using chat GPT. Then chat chain type in our case is going to be stuff. So what this is doing is essentially giving it all of the text that is available to the model, then verbose equal to true, and then the prompt. So when we execute this, we are creating this chain, and this chain requires documents. In order to convert this conversation string into a document, I'm going to create a list of documents with a page content that is equal to the conversation. Let me run this and I'll show you what is happening here. So this is what we're getting. The document list with the page content that is essentially this conversation. Let's run the chain now. We are running summary dot run summary chain dot run and we are passing in the docs. Let's see what is the summary. So this is the response from the summary chain. Jim and Pam are in Amsterdam for a conference, so we know this is correct. They want to keep their romantic getaway a secret. So let's see if we have this within the response. Uh, 
Yeah, Jim is talking about, but we have to be careful not to let anyone know about our little romantic getaway. So this is the second point. They haven't seen Michael and Dwight since arriving, which is again part of the conversation. They worry Michael and Dwight got lost in the red white district. Let's see if this is happening. So yeah, no, I haven't, but knowing them, they probably get lost in red, red white district after eating those space cakes. Okay, not sure if they're actually worried, but yeah, they decide to split up and search for them. Agreed, let's split up for the search. Okay, Jim flirts with Pam, but they focus on their mission. I'll try my best, but it's hard when I'm with the most beautiful scenery of all. Smiles at Pam. Stop it, Jim, we have a mission to complete. Okay, so the summary is pretty good. Next, we are going to have a look at the question answering chain. So we took a look at the more simple chain, LLM chain, then the sequential chain, then the summarization chain, and then you might want to have to ask questions about some text. And for that purpose, you are going to create a question and answering chain. So the template right here is going to create a script for us that is for the new for a new episode based on the TV show The Office again, that is based on a suggested theme. In our, our case, we're going to again talk about visiting Europe. So we want this script to be about two to three hundred words. And let's see what ChatGPT is going to give us for the script. Okay, so here is the script. So the office employees are hard at work. Suddenly the door bursts open and walks in Michael Scott, the regional manager. Good morning, Scranton. I have some exciting news for all. Oh, boy, what is this time, Jim? We have been <laughs> selected to represent Dunder Mifflin at the conference in Europe. <laughs> and then Dwight is excited. Europe, the one of my ancestors. So, yeah, Pam is asking who is going to run the office. That's the best part, Pam. We're taking the whole office with us. Okay, so uh, this is some script. The group then travels to Germany where they attend the conference. They're all impressed with the presentations and the networking opportunities. So they soon realize that they're not well prepared for other companies and they struggle to make a good impression. The episode ends with the group returning to Scranton, exhausted but happy to be back home. <laughs> Michael declares the trip a success and promises to plan another international adventure soon. Fade out. Okay, so let's use the script and try to answer uh, to ask some questions. So the first thing that we'll do, uh, we're going to do, is to convert this string into documents. In in this case, we're going to use the character text splitter, which is going to create a single document for us. Let's have a look at the text themselves. Yeah, so this is the document along with the script that is written right here. And I'm going to create embeddings using the Chroma DB and the OpenAI embeddings. Then the important part right here is that we want to create this retrieval QA chain. And this accepts ChatGPT or large language model, the chain type, which is again the whole text. And then we're going to create the retriever using the Chroma DB. So in our case, this is using the embeddings, and then the embeddings are created from this Chroma DB, which is essentially a vector database. And then those are passed in as a retriever. Let's see if we are going to run this. So the first question that I'm asking this QA chain is what is the location that the office team is visiting? Let's run this. So name ChromaDB is not defined. So I had to change the number of search keyword arguments since uh, in our case, the script is actually contained within just a single document. So if you change this to one instead of two in this case and run this, what is the location that the office is visiting? And then let's print the response. 
The office team is visiting Europe, specifically Paris, France and Germany. So this is based on this text. And then when I tried to run the notebook at first, the script was a bit different compared to this. And I'm asking the question why the client doesn't want to deal with Michael. So this is another entirely new script. And in this case, ChatGPT is smart enough to understand that there is actually not as such information within this script. Let's try another one then. So where there at, let's let's ask something about this conference. They're all impressed with the presentations and the networking opportunities. However, they soon realize. Okay, however, things quickly go awry when Michael accidentally insults a French waiter. And they are kicked out of the restaurant. Okay, so when they're in France, actually, they are kicked out of the restaurant. Let's ask why the team was kicked out of the restaurant in France. Okay, so this is now giving us a response. The team was kicked out of the restaurant in France because Michael accidentally insulted a French waiter. The reason for the insult is not mentioned in the context. So again, it is reading through the text for us and then not trying to imagine anything that is not written here. And it says that the reason for the insult is not mentioned. Okay, so you can try out this question answering for yourself uh, and you might want to get good results such as this. All right, so the final chain that we're going to have a look at is going to be the bash chain. So this is a pretty much a fun chain that you can try out. And here I'm asking for something very simple. Please write a bash script that prints a single line that Michael G. Scott from the office might say. And I'm running this. And this is the response that we're getting. So you can see that this is actually writing this bash script. So bash and then giving the echo command and then executing the command for us. So this is such something like a tool. And then this is the answer. The answer is that what she said. So this is very appropriate. So this is it for this video. We took a look at some of the most important chains that are provided by the Langchain library. Of course, you can also visit the documentation of Langchain to have a look at the more available chains that they have. We took a look at the LLM chain, which is essentially the most basic one that you just pass in a large language model and a prompt, and then the prompt is given straight up to the model. Then we took a look at the sequential chain, which is essentially trying to get the output from a model and then use this output as an input to the next chain or the next model that you're providing, which was pretty cool. Then we took a look at the summarization chain, which is trying to create a summary of a given text. Finally, we looked at the question and answering chain or retrieval question and answering chain, which we used to create some questions and ask again uh, against a text that we've already generated. And for the fun of it, we took a look at the bash <laughs> chain, which was uh, trying to write some bash scripts for us. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share and subscribe. Also, consider joining the Discord that I'm going to pass in into the description down below. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.